Hi everyone, it's me. Wow, it feels like it's been a long time since I filmed. I think it has been. I've been away for a few days. I went on a little boat getaway for this weekend. So I haven't worked out in about three days now and I haven't filmed in like a week. So I'm a little out of practice. <laughs> also apologies if you hear the laundry machine. There's a lot of laundry to be done today because we just got back yesterday. But anyways, this video is going to be about getting us back on track. <laughs> so yeah, I did go away for this weekend. So absolutely no working out. We were also living on a boat. So I feel like I didn't get that many steps either because when you're on a boat, there's only so far you can walk like basically to one end of the boat to the other end of the boat. So yeah, not much exercise this weekend, but that's okay. It was a really, really a nice break and we're gonna get back to it today. So I need to find my iPad. Where's my, oh. That was a weird spot for my iPad to be. I go away for three days and I forget where everything is. <laughs> Anyways, what I was thinking for today, I feel like doing something like strengthy. I feel like my muscles need to be worked again. They haven't been like activated in a long time, but I don't want to do any jumping. <laughs> Let's not jump today, not yet. So I was thinking of doing something from Caroline Gervin's Iron Series because I know that program was really focused on strength. There wasn't much cardio in it at all. I think there was like zero cardio. Okay, here we go. Iron series, a 30 minute muscle building full body workout. Day 19 of iron. That sounds like exactly what I'm looking for. So let's do it. <laughs> you and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great, but somewhere there's a light inside of us. It shows the way. Not looking for no, no, no breakfast <laughs> so that weight workout was like really hard the weights were like very heavy today. <laughs> Probably because I haven't done weights in like a long time. Mmm, <laughs> that's not even an overreaction. Other than cucumbers, we didn't really eat that many like fresh vegetables while we were on the boat. So good. I'm also gonna tackle these grapes. Don't know how many I'm gonna eat, but lots of grapes. Okay guys, it is lunchtime. I'm getting hungry, so let's eat. <laughs> so for today's lunch, I'm going to be using a new gadget that I just got and it is a compact steamer type gadget. I will show you. So this cute little thing is a steamer from the brand By Deem who is sponsoring today's video. So thank you to By Deem. <laughs> I'm very, very curious and excited to use this new appliance. So yeah, I'm gonna use this to make my lunch, but before I do, I just wanna tell you a few things about this cute little thing. So this is called the By Deem Intelligent Food Steamer. That's basically a pretty good explanation of what this thing does. It steams food, but not only does it steam food. It can also act as a slow cooker, a yogurt machine, a sterilizer, a thawing machine, and a baby food machine, which is something I don't need right now, but maybe for the future. So yeah, not only is this appliance super cute, I love the green color. It's one of my favorite colors currently. It's also a really easy and good way to make a healthy meal. Steaming your food is actually one of the most healthy ways to cook your food because the method of steaming just helps keep most of the nutrition in whatever you're cooking. So that's awesome. And apparently this intelligent steamer creates steam in less than one minute. So yeah, you can steam a bunch of things in here. The examples that they provide are veggies, meat, seafood, staples like rice, potatoes, dumplings, which I love. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all I had to say about this lovely, beautiful steamer. I'm going to make some lunch using this now. <laughs> oh wait, I actually had something else to say. So yeah, I mentioned you can use this as a slow cooker and they actually have these accessories that you can use to make things like stews and soups and stuff. So yeah, you can also place these in here as well. But yeah, I'm going to make lunch. Oh, also, <laughs> if you guys like the look of this steamer, I will link it and all that stuff in the description box below so you can check them out. So yeah, okay, 
and I'm actually gonna make lunch. <laughs> Okay, so I've moved my steamer over here because I have an outlet here <laughs> and this is my first time using it So I think I just fill this part up with water because you need water to steam food. That's how it cooks So I'm going to fill it up Then I put this little thingy on top. <laughs> I have these frozen dumplings just to make life that much easier be a super super easy lunch okay and here comes the cool part you can actually steam two different trays of things at the same time I'm going to put my broccoli on top here she's alive <laughs> I'm going to steam this for 10 minutes and I think that's all I have to do. So I'll see you when this thing's done. I'm just checking on this steamer and it says three minutes left. It looks like it's definitely gathered some steam in there. Water level still high. This is actually really cool. It's a really easy way to cook. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. It's definitely steamed the broccoli. There it is. Oh, actually. Course. Necessary. Okay, there we go. One of the easiest lunches I have ever made. Okay, let's see how the dumplings turned out. Perfectly steamed. And then I'm really curious about this broccoli to see if it's still like crunchy. Mmm, mm-hmm. Broccoli it maintained its crunch, but definitely is cooked all the way through. I'm definitely very, very impressed at the steamer. <laughs> I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Dinner! I am so hungry, oh my gosh I made this coconut shrimp, it's from Frozen It's like the Farm Boy brand coconut shrimp that I've heard so much about on social media So I'm super excited to try And then yeah, I just have some leftover broccoli and some rice I'm gonna try this shrimp Oh, hot! Mmm! Oh, it's so hot, but it's really good. That coconut batter is really good. If you have a farm boy near you, try the coconut shrimp. I would show you the box, but it's over there. It's really far. <laughs> All right, guys, so gonna enjoy this meal. Good morning. I am going to do some Pilates this morning. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. That was really a good workout. It was kind of a Pilates and cardio fusion. So there were some like low impact cardio sections in there. And yeah, it was super fun. Highly recommend if you're looking for that sort of a workout. But for now, I'm gonna make some breakfast. All right, this is breakfast, cheers. Mmm! Fiance also ran to Starbucks this morning and grabbed this iced apple oat macchiato decaf. So I've been using this app called Nunu. They are paying me to be like one of their paid beta testers on their app. But it's basically an app where I post polls and then people can vote on what I do. I've been posting kind of like everyday kind of options or choices that I do. So yesterday I posted a poll asking what Starbucks drink I should get and iced apple oat crisp macchiato. I always mess up the name. One as the option, which I'm so happy about because it's my favorite Starbucks drink. But yeah, the app I'm using is called Nunu. So if you guys do want to check that app out and follow me on there and kind of be a part of my daily decisions, go follow me over there. I'll put the link in the description and stuff. And yeah, I mean, no pressure. Nothing's gonna change here on YouTube. But I'm just starting to try this other app as kind of like an external additional thing. So thank you to everyone on Nunu who chose this trick for me. Ah, it's hot! <laughs> Meal prep is super simple this week for lunches. Spaghetti with like tomato sauce, some like crumbled Italian sausage, and some like frozen peas and carrots. So, so easy, but really good if you've just come back from a trip and are tired and don't really want to make anything too fancy. Bolognese. <laughs> Essentially, has to cheers. That's pretty good for a quick and easy lunch. <laughs> ah!
this is my dinner tonight. These are lamb meatballs, which are very interesting. I made a salad. Very, very simple dinner. I'm so stressed right now. <laughs> My fiance is wiggling his butt over there. <laughs> I'm just freaking out because there's so much going on in my lifestyle. I'm gonna turn the camera on you. Anyways, I'm so stressed out. There's so much going on in my life. We're trying to buy a house. I don't even want to say that on a video because I feel like it's gonna jinx it. You don't want a house. I don't want to buy a house. I would rather not. <laughs> Uh, and today was my first day back at work after like our long four day off weekend So there's just so much to catch up on There's a lot of like YouTube work to catch up on like emails. I have to sign some contracts and I'm behind on editing So I have to like edit and I want to read all I want to do is like relax and read There's so much to do. I have to call my mom too <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Meatball. <laughs> I guess I'll be alright. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Great workout. It has made me so hungry, so let's have breakfast. I like bagels too. I love bagels. Perfect avocado. Happy breakfast. I also have my greens juice this morning. Still on my little experiment. <laughs> we have salmon cream here, avocado, and everything seasoning. One of the best combos. It has been a busy freaking week at work, you guys. My gosh, I've barely had a chance to talk to you. <laughs> and now my air fryer sounds like it's taking off into space. Yeah, it's been insanely busy. So for lunch, I had my pasta meal prep, of course. And then other than that, I've just basically been working all day. I know I was super stressed out yesterday around dinner time and I'm less stressed now. I did end up calling my mom and talking to her about what I wanted to. We looked at a couple more house listings online. So I kind of like wrapped my head around things a bit better again. And I have caught up with editing now for YouTube. So I'm definitely less stressed. But I think for this evening, I'm just gonna reset myself. I'm gonna take some time for myself. Maybe Maybe after dinner I'll go for a walk because it does look quite nice out right now and then maybe I'll do a bit of reading before bed because that always helps me feel better but yeah I'm just making dinner right now in my air fryer I've put the remaining like farm boy coconut shrimp that I tried a couple days ago that's it I'm gonna wait for dinner to cook now there's my little shrimp bowl there's my little shrimps <laughs> unfortunately I only get two shrimps today there were not too many shrimps left Yay! I think she wants a shrimp. The shrimp is very good though. I don't blame her for wanting some. Mmm. You have to buy this again. It's so good. Yes. Good morning. It is time to work out today. But to be completely honest, I don't know what I want to do today. <laughs> this is a weird dilemma that I have not really come across too much in the past. Usually I wake up and I know exactly what I want to do, but today I just don't. Uh, what has Growing Ananas been up to lately? Ah, oh, maybe we'll do one of her 24 minute Tabata hits. I feel like I haven't done too much cardio this week, so maybe that's what I should do. Is that what I feel like doing? Sure. Okay, we're gonna do Growing Anana's latest 24 minute Tabata hit then. It's been settled. <laughs> Just watch me break it. Relatively to Anna's other Tabata hits, this one actually wasn't like as intense as the other ones I've tried, I feel like. Still very good in intensity, but 
yeah. There was also, <laughs> in this workout, like after the 24 minute Tabata, the workout was finished, but then Anna was like, do you guys wanna go for another round? And she kept going for another like eight minutes. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I did not do the extra eight minutes today. <laughs> I just didn't feel like it. I feel like I got a decent enough workout out of the 24 minutes and I'm like, I'm done for today. So if you do try this workout and you don't do the bonus round at the end, it's okay. <laughs> I also just wanted to say I feel like my taste like my preferences and workouts are definitely changing because of the quick like no repeat fast 20 second sets used to be like the best thing ever for me and I feel like now I would prefer longer sets and even maybe a few repeats not circuits I'm still not like the biggest fan of circuits but you know how like Caroline Gervin does like the repeats like one after the other so she'll do like two sets of something before moving on to the next exercise. I feel like now, after doing that for a while, that format of exercise passes by quicker for me than like the quick, quick, no repeat workouts. I feel like when you're doing no repeats, you get the feeling that you're doing so much because you are, like you're doing so many different exercises and it's like, okay, how many of these can we really fit into 24 minutes or 30 minutes? or whatever. So yeah, I feel like my tastes have changed. Anyways, yeah, just wanted to let you know my thoughts. Sweat just dripped on me, that's gross. Told me more. Made the exact same breakfast as yesterday. Mm, so good. <laughs> you guys, this week has seriously been something else. Hold on, let me adjust you a little. So I'm on my lunch break. I'm having my meal prepped pasta. I'm gonna take my first bite before we start chatting because I'm hungry. <laughs> pasta cheers. Yeah, I don't know what is up with this week or like what's been going on, but it's been so busy. I feel like my mornings have just been meetings, like back to back meetings. It's 12.50 now. So I've been in straight meetings from 9.45 to now. <laughs> it's just insane. And then in the afternoon after lunch is when I actually finally get to like do some work. <laughs> but yeah, this is why I meal prep. Even though I work from home and like, you know, I feel like a lot of people wouldn't meal prep when they work from home because they have access to their kitchen at all times of the day. It still just saves me so much time having my lunch prep so in the middle of the day when I'm busy when I'm in meetings when I'm kind of rushing around trying to do things I don't have to worry about like spending time to make lunch and I feel like that extra 15 or 20 minutes that you need to like prepare food even that is a lot of time when you're like in the middle of your work day it doesn't sound like that much but it is and that's also why I wake up early to work out in the mornings rather than like try and do it on my lunch break or try and fit it into the evening I'm currently waking up at 6 30 every morning I spend a little bit of time to like actually wake up, you know, get ready for my workout, do my half an hour workout in the morning. And then I still have a comfortable amount of time to make breakfast, enjoy my morning before I start my day. And I feel like as a busy person, that really helps me like stay on track, if you will, with my workout. So yeah, that's how I deal with being busy. <laughs> but yeah, that being said, I think I'm actually going to end today's video here. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it, whether it was something useful or just entertaining. If you did, please leave me a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment down below, let me know what your favorite pasta dish is. If you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!